Hello, good morning. It is 11.40 a.m. on February 7th, 2024. It is Wednesday, for real. Yeah. None of this timey-wimey <laughs> bollocks from uh, 4-8. Thanks, Seekers. Yeah, thanks, Seekers. But welcome, one and all, to episode 54 of uh, Digimon Seekers, uh, reviewing... Uh, chapter four, part eleven, mm. and uh, what the fourth this week? The fourth. Well, you, yeah, yeah, the fourth since Sunday. Yeah, yeah. um, like it, phenomenal that like ugh, Jesus. Uh, four dash eleven. Uh, my name is AJ, your goggle head in charge, joined along by Miss Megmon. Hello, and yeah, like. <laughs> we called it yeah in reverse again but we called it <laughs> um so this uh so you can probably tell by the thumbnail for the uh episode and the image behind meg kazuchimon is back yeah you see those colors you know who it is <laughs> yeah um so kosuke uses the um injection on leon yeah he doesn't use it on saya he knows there's no point yeah it could have been it could have been funny to have like saya appear and uh go all black war graymon <laughs> that could have been interesting but i want another angsty one of those oh well father how dare you and that is probably how it would have gone based on this mm. because apparently once Pulsemon was brought into the Source Domain, Pulsemon has been absorbing, or has been listening to everything going on? Yeah, he's been awake. Yeah. Yeah. Which is... we didn't see that coming. Well, he was... just... transported there, I suppose. Yeah, There's but... no reason for him not to be aware of things around him. Well, I got the... I guess I got the... I, I, it just seemed to be that he was asleep uh same mm. as black the black agumon like they were maybe not quite comatose but because they weren't needed in that moment the they weren't awoken or like they were still in stasis so mm. pulsemon's been listening in the whole time and knew that it was tartarus that woke that you know brought him back knew that ag had come looking for him there's a he, weird... He knew that Ria Senshi was a dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> apologies, but no apologies. <laughs> <laughs> there was, um... Like, he... Yeah, like... Hmm. Like, I don't want to say there's not an awful lot of substance to this episode. Hmm. Because there is. There's a lot that happens here, but it is more of, um... Like Ryu Senji, do, like we kind of we we kind of posited Ryu Senji would try and turn Leon on AG. Yeah, and he gets caught out. <laughs> and like it, yeah, yeah. Imme it gets caught out like immediately. Oh, Leon, you, we can't let these code crackers steal the digital world from us. And Leon's yeah. like, yeah, no. <laughs> mm. But uh, the one thing I did like, um, one thing I did like was that. The two consciousness aren't separated. Not yet, no. No, like this this medicine is kind of taking its time. Mm. Um his body is moving at least yeah. back in the real world. Uh got a heartbeat and whatnot. Yeah. So kinda like like he would have had a heartbeat anyway. Yeah. But it's like there, there's life in there now. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, uh, but, like, uh, but, and of course, Ryu Senji being ever the scientist is like fascinated by this that this is actually working, and yeah, he's like amazed by it, but also, should I better make up a story? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't account for this. Mm. Um, yeah, I guess he didn't, in all his infinite wisdom, didn't think that Kosuke had used that syringe on, on Leon. Leon, yeah. Assumed he'd give up. Yeah. Once there was no hope for Saya. No, and like it's good to see that like Kosuke does kind of snap out of it. Like in thanks to Yulin. Mm. Um, like he does kind of snap out of it and it's 
it's this nice little moment where you can see that the the friendship between the two is still kind of there mm. you know um in that moment like in in this moment they are not officer and criminal they are the friends they were 20 years before this story even kicked off yeah and it's and it's 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 just it's nice because mm. a lesser story could have very well just turned Yulin into another Leon. Yeah. You know, a more... If Leon's not going to be Leon in this chapter, Yulin would be playing the part of Leon. Yeah, Yulin... Like, not that she can really arrest him in the digital world. Yeah. But she didn't, like... Try, it didn't even cross her mind. No. And she didn't even blame him for anything, like... Ryudamon is still useless. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Ryudamon. Like, mm -hmm. I have friends whose favorite Digimon is Ryudamon. Mm. And I don't know if they've kept up with the franchise, right? But mm. I know, like, just from, like, back in, uh, way back when, Ryudamon was their favorite. Mm. And I'd like to think that if they saw this project where Ryudamon is front and center on the poster, and then you get to the most crucial part. <laughs> you get to the most crucial part, and he is just a nothing burger. Mm. Like, poor Ryudamon. He does not get to partake in this final battle at all. Well, maybe he will now that Kosuke has woken up. Mm. Not that he snapped out of his grief, but he snapped out of the shock. Yeah. You know, he's still... Kind of, yeah. He tossed over the shoulder of a Tyrannomon, woke him up. <laughs> The Tyrannomons uh, are just running around like firemen carrying everyone out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Tyrannomons, the Tyrannomon are good boys. Mm. Um, you know, gotta respect the Tyrannomon. They are, they are, they are the goodest of boys. Um, but also then, um, you want to bring it up when we have a look through? Make sure we're not missing anything. Yeah, like there's not a whole lot do it you know it and it, it is more like even toward the end do you want to know why i don't respect you anymore and i'm like we just covered this mm. that was all you talked about in four one in four mm -hmm. one zero yeah. like why are we still doing this and ryu senji is still oh do tell yeah like he's a, he has the idiot ball too yeah like that like the, this shouldn't be the dialogue you're having now yeah like, you've already explained, A.G., why you don't respect him. The audience gets it. The audience has seen, like, what he's up to and what he's been doing. Mm. We don't need to reinforce it again. We don't need a recap for Leon, because Leon's been awake the whole time. <laughs> yeah. No, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, But I do love this artwork. Um, I do like that the art for the final week all seems like it's going to be in colour. Yeah. Um, because th if this image of Kazuchimon and Fenrir Lugamon together with mm. like the hololized Leon and Eiji, yeah, if that was just purple, mm. oh, it's such a wasted opportunity. It if, is. if it was just purple, you can't have. I don't think you can have any of the Pulsemon evolutions without their color in them. No, they need to to be bright and full of electricity. Yeah, not dull down with a filter. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, no, that that as well. But I just it's it's just like, such a Lugamon good image. works in blue and they kind of work in the green and yellow, but it just... Yeah. Mm. Excuse me, it fades them out too much. Yeah. Apologies for the yawning. It is 10 to 12 in the morning, so um that makes it sound like we're really lazy. No, well, no, uh, we're on a different schedule. We're on a different, people. yeah. We're on a different <laughs> schedule to other people, particularly this week. Um, like we we also have our live show tonight. Um, you know, uh, which will be going out a couple of hours after this goes live for everybody. Mm -hmm. We're coming back with Digimon Frontier episodes yeah. one and two. Still haven't come up with a name that goes with Wednesday, but no. <laughs> ah well. Uh, do you want to bring up the yeah like i don't think we're missing anything because like ryu senji then just has more oh the the hand yeah, the the hand that feeds has been bitten twice today oh what a bad day it's been for me like um you know and then ryu senji just you know kind of says uh screw it and starts downloading the data that he's decrypted through yeah. dorumon uh, in a, an attempt to, I guess, overload 
uh, Dorogoromon, and this starts hurting Kosuke, who dies? Question mark? I think he just passes out from the pain. Yeah, hopefully just that one. Yeah. Um, he, he definitely does just kind of keel over from it all. Oh, he did more than that. And and then we end up with, uh, as you know, we end up with uh, Death X Evolution being mm -hmm. like the last words of the chapter. So yeah, Kosuke even said like he couldn't like feel he the connection he, yeah, or he anything. Yeah, he couldn't hear him anymore, which is a nice kind of callback to the Hell Lugermon thing because Eiji yeah. went through that. He was like, I, I, I don't have access to any of these controls. I can't hear his voice. Yeah. Lugamon, Lugamon. Yeah. Um. So. The intro is like overly dramatic in how mm -hmm. it like. Um, I like that it does describe the evolution. Yeah. Like if this was animated, you could you could kind of see how this works. Mm. I still don't like that we're doing wolf goes to biker wolf goes to metal wolf again, because mm -hmm. that's effectively what happens here. He just goes. It's just Lugarmon in new armor. Yeah, effectively. Um. But apparently it's flames, um, you know, uh, reach tens of thousands, ten, tens of thousands degrees Kelvin, uh, equivalent to the surface temperature of the hottest stars in the Milky Way. Everyone around them should be melted. Yeah. <laughs> they, I, I love exaggerations. Stone, like, Stonehenge should be crumbling right now. Yeah, like I love exaggerations like this, right? Because they're mm. trying to imbue a sense of like the power. Mm. But temperature radiates. It's not a thing where like it you you have to touch it and ow fire hot. Yeah. Temperature radiates. They should be feeling how hot this is. Yeah. <laughs> they can feel. When they're hollowized, we know this. Yeah. And yeah, they should be all sweating to death right now. <laughs> yeah. Tens of thousands of degrees Kelvin. Uh I it's funny. Like I like I get it. It's exaggeration for like dramatic effect, but yeah. at the same time, like lol. Yeah. <laughs> uh but nevertheless, Fenrir Lugamon was able to contain the massive amounts of energy rolling within. Roiling within. Uh, oh, roi roiling within. Yeah, 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 roiling. Um, that is a word. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Um. And then again, a lot of callbacks to like Norse mythology and like, like Fenrir Lugamon could not be slain, only contained. It was all the gods could do to contain the beast with Gleipnir. The enchanted dwarven restraints, mm -hmm. like those are just hanging off him now, aren't they? Is yeah, those above. Yeah, his restraints are just hanging around his neck. Yeah, uh, the remnants of Gleipnir hung loose around its neck. Uh, like it's so over the top. Um, like it, like they they are really going for like, oh, this is metal. Yeah, you know, proper like devil finger horn like <laughs> symbolism you know like the you know the rocker ah, mm. this is metal um he'd have uplifting guitar sounds behind him yeah not like scary ones for like a bad evolution no this is like a heavy metal but good <laughs> <laughs> yeah um like, but my, but I, I like to imagine this is all just uh, Lugamon's like head cannon about himself. Yeah. Like this is him bigging himself up. Yeah. <laughs> Go shouting this to everyone as he runs around. <laughs> yeah. I burn with the power of ten thousand stars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, because he, because he's still a little edgy boy at heart. Mm. You know, he's still a little edgy boy at heart. So, I like to think this is like this is just his, um. His head cannon for himself. Mm. Um, Maria Sentry is all like, "Hey, he did it!" Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I've nothing but admiration for you two. There are many paths to mega level, but I never expected your desire to save Leon and Pulsemon alone to be the thing that did it. Ah, uh, to be so young. Let me guess, and this is where it gets, like. I, I like that Ryusenji is kind of like 
making fun of like the anime tropes here as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me guess. Your friends are just that important to you. Mm -hmm. Let me guess. The power of friendship did yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You I'm... believed in the heart of the cards. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, the more, like, I know I, I know I wasn't exactly, like, completely on board with just, like, the immediate 180 Rio Senji has done. Mm. But, but as the chapter has, like, as the chapter has gone on, I've come to appreciate it just that, that mm. bit more. Um... So then, uh, yeah, so then um, AG was like, aren't your friends important? And to which Ryu Senji's like, uh, you know, after a certain age, it's healthier to protect yourself from harmful relationships with a bit of distance. <laughs> you learn to keep those who are useful to you close uh, while discarding those for whom you have no need. AG, I love this. AG's yeah. like, you know, that actually makes sense. And Rhea Senji replies, do you mean that? To which AG, AG like, <laughs> has a, like, a got him yeah. moment where he's like, I sure do, which is why I'm going to discard you right here and now, Ryu Senji. <laughs> I even Rhea Senji's like, oh, I walked right into that one. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. You'll get a nice fat bonus in your paycheck. Orders of magnitude over your normal pay. <laughs> <laughs> you outsmarted me. <laughs> um, and like AG kind of has a moment like orders of magnitude. And it is the, the, the money hungry part of him starts running again. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Fenrir snaps him out of it like you're not for sale. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. He's like, I wasn't seriously considering it. I don't need any extra money. I'm like, no, AG, you do. That's been the whole point of your character arc. You're mm. broke as fuck. <laughs> I think he's trying to convince himself. Yeah. I don't need it. I don't need it. <laughs> Friends are more important. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so we're going to go all in from the start. I want you running at full strength. Um. So... Yeah, then it just becomes uh, Fenrir Lugamon versus Dorogoromon. Yulin and Kosuke have their moment. Where, um, you know, Kosuke, like, Yulin wonders, like, you know, if Kosuke sees A.G. and himself. And kind of like, oh, you were like that once. Mm. Maybe I was. You know, cause he's so youthful and full of vim and vigor and he's got nothing to lose, so because the digital world can change lives, he's willing to risk his life for it, and mm -hmm. um, you know, when you already have nothing to lose, it makes standing up to oppressive regimes or forces, you know, uh, all that much easier. Mm. Um, and he's like, and like Kosuke is like, I see, I see now. Like you weren't warning me about interfering with the source domain, but you were warning me about Ryu Senji. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, well, how much, how much did Yulin know then? Because mm -hmm. like the the implication has been Yulin is like has wandered into this place like a deer in the headlights. Yeah. Well, she knows at least his influence. Like she'd know it more than Kosuke might in a. Professional manner. Yeah. Well, I, I, I never, but I never picked up on the idea that Yulin was like. Maybe over the years she became a bit wary of him. Well, yeah, wary of his ambition. Wary is mm -hmm. the word I was looking for. Um, or privy, you know, to his, to his, to his, his more ambitious endeavors. Mm. But like they have that moment. Uh, they have they have their moment, and yeah. Uh, like Kosuke says, he, I can't hear Dorogoromon or Doromon's voice anymore. The professor. He's taken everything from me. Um, lost in the game of life and he was without hope. And uh, that's where Yulin, and, and Yulin says, let's see what Eiji and his Fenrir Lugamon can do. Mm -hmm. So they continue fighting. There's not a whole, like, it, 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 it's a big fight. There's fire and there's Eiji's like, uh, 
uh, uh, so <clears throat> sorry no then we cut back to Kosuke and Yulin and this yeah. is where they're having their conversation of he did it he made it to mega level uh, Codecrackers and the Digipolice were diametrically opposed but their leaders briefly put aside their differences and acknowledged the incredible skill of a fellow mind linker mm-hmm. um, it's not quite oh my god he's gone beyond S rank mm-hmm. you know um, which I'm, I'm okay with um, I think we have a comment from Ali, who basically who 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 says, "Oh, I'm waiting for the cringe line of now he's a triple S mind linker or mm-hmm. something." I'm like, okay, they haven't gone there, so that's good. Uh, they knew what it felt like to be so locked in and determined to be able to push through to the next level, and Kosuke's like, "Well, this is all he's ever wanted to be on the winning team." He lost so much in the real world. He has nothing to lose. That's why he's able to fight with everything mm-hmm. he has. Um, he's fighting for his friend Leon, a ha- who is a hacker, no less. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so um, the digital world can change lives, and this edit doesn't hurt that his partner was right by his side. Mm-hmm. It's funny, right? Because <clears throat> when we got here, Ag was like, "Saya is who." You're doing this for what? What? And he's so confused. And we're like, what did you guys talk about? But obviously, AJ did all the talking. Because Kosuke knows that uh, he decided a long time ago he would live in the digital world and be a full-time code cracker. And Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it, it seems like the conversation that they had, like, on the way to the secret base was, like, more of, like, Kosuke being like, look, I've done a little digging, but I want to hear it from your side. You tell yeah. me about yourself. And just kept the conversation away from Kosuke's mm. personal life. Even though he told him the story. Yeah. He left out the fiancé <laughs> and the daughter part for Yeah, some he reason. admitted the important details. You know, it was a lie of omission. Mm. <laughs> you know, which uh, which within context is, you know, it, it it's not the worst thing. But it does feel like it's just... It's for Ag's benefit, it, like it's really just so they could have Ag have these moments of oh whoa whoa whoa, mm. where it makes no sense. Like if you're telling realistically, if you're telling that story, and you want this partner of yours on side, you explain to them why you're not so different. Mm. You know, or I find it very strange to talk to someone and try to connect with them and leave out the fact that your friend was also your fiance. <laughs> yeah. Cuz if anything that would make that would make AG empathize even more with them and want yeah. to help. Hmm. But you know, I, I it's yeah, it's just for the benefit of having a scene later where it can be a don 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 hmm. moment for AG because we already knew this because of the flashback stuff. Yeah. And it yeah, it's a bit like weak we then had... because we know it and we're just like, age is dumb. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Where, like, if we didn't have the flashback chapter, uh, uh, parts of, like, chapter three, mm. the, those kind of revealed could have been more of a, <gasps> oh, no wonder he's so invested. And, yeah. You know, maybe we could have had a better response to that rather than, why don't you know this already, AG? Mm. You know. But Kosuke and Yulin have every reason to hope Eiji has what it takes to win. Um, then, as the battle goes on, there's an intense flickering pillar of light emanating from the stone circle that drew the Digimon's attention. Um, what is that? Professor Ryusenji says skeptically, peering through Dorogoromon's eyes. Um, it's them! The light continued to flicker. No! Oh. <laughs> Kosuke. Did he administer did he did he administer the medicine? AG looks down inside the stone circle. He doesn't see any sign of Kosuke or Tyrannomon. Still, he was certain of one thing. Kosuke hadn't given the medicine to the black Agumon. He'd used it on Pulsemon. Mm. And then AG calls for Pulsemon and Leon to come back to them. We cut back to D4, where Leon starts to come back to life and the Digimon linker on his wrist starts flickering. Mm. So I <clears throat> so I, I feel like I was I feel like I was on the money. Where that's why Ryu Senji put the linker back on him. It yeah. wasn't just some sort of weird 
Mm. It wasn't when that I say weird. It wasn't just the anime thing of like putting the dual disc back on Joey while he's in a coma. Yeah. Or you know a a, a or a, a a show or a song and dance for Yulin's benefit because she was there. Mm. He would always kind of plan to bring Leon back and be like, "We have to fight these code crackers." Yeah, Leon was kind of his backup. Yeah. Um, the rhythmic thump of a heartbeat echoed through the source domain. <laughs> Uh, and Pultmon's back, and um, uh, Agee's like Pultmon, who responds, "You must be mistaking me for someone else." Mm -hmm. I'm like, wait, what? Is that just Pultmon being a troll, or or it's Leon oh, being like, I'm, "I'm Leon, not Pultmon." Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, because Leon's voice comes through. Yeah. But then it, it, but then they're doing the Omega Mon thing where they're, yeah, talking, they're talking together. At the same time, yeah. Uh, or the bio merge thing from Tamers. Um... Ah, Lugamon, it's you. Hey, EG. <laughs> there's, there's the Pultmon in him. Mm. So they're back, and it's like the two consciousness are living in the same Digicore. They're separate, but together, it's it's it, it, it's confusing. Mm -hmm. so with their words, it's you know. Um. Ryusenji's enjoying the the science of it all. Yeah, he's how could he possibly? Yeah, how... one of his inventions just worked for the first time. So. Yeah, how could he pass up the chance to observe real time data about the first proper administration of his treatment to a DMIA patient? Um, so hmm, Ryusenji tries to get Leon on side. Um, Leon asks why the professor is in Dorogoromon's body. It's a long story. I'm taking the fight to the Sons of Chaos by fighting Eiji here. He's one of their leaders now. <laughs> and, well, it's not exactly a lie, but it elided many facts of the situation. <laughs> um, you're fighting Eiji? Oh, never mind that now. How long have you been mind linked? Uh, according to my readout, it looks like I still have plenty of time. That's rather impressive. We're on the other side of the gateway. In the depths of the digital world, this place in particular is known as the Source Domain. And, ah, but there will be plenty of time to explain later. We <laughs> mustn't let the Code Cracker steal this place from us. <laughs> and Ag like, no, he's lying. Blah, blah. And um, Holtzmon evolves right through to Kazuchimon. Um, but Yulin's like, what's going on? How is he able to do that? His timer ran out because he stayed mind linked for too long. And Kosuke explains that the medicine extends the mind linking time, mm. which is what allows the revival to happen in the first yeah. place. Um, but Kosuke doesn't, sorry, um, Leon doesn't appear to be suffering from any side effects of it. Um, so far, anyway. And the syringe uh, deletes from his hand. Well, it was only data. Yeah. Yeah. Um,. Yeah, so like Ryusenji continues to get Leon on side by appealing to his sense of justice and well, you're the hacker who will not abide by any code crackers. I know uh, it must hurt to understand to discover your childhood friend is your enemy, but you and Kazuchimon must join me in defeating him. Like he's really playing into Leon's personality because that's all he would ever talk about. Exactly. I'm a hacker and code crackers are bad and must be eliminated. Yeah. Yeah. And he's, and, and Rius Engie's leaning into that. It's probably, realistically, it is probably the fastest way to get Leon on side. Mm. Um, where, um, but Kazuchimon then starts building up a bunch of power and, uh, he attacks Dorugoromon. Yeah. Uh, Dorugoromon lowers its scorched arm and glares at Kazuchimon. It was the same attack that he used on the uh, Mugen Draymon. Yeah. Which I, which I think is great. Took out, took out Nation X's one with it, and now he's... And now he... Yeah. <laughs> and the only reason it did so much damage to Nation X's Mugen Draymon was because that thing was tied up and was basically a husk of itself. It, yeah. hadn't, it hadn't the willpower to fight back. Yeah. So... 
So, Ryu Senji did not see this coming. Mm. And, um... So... <clears throat> he, like, he, he lets out a Leon! <laughs> um, Kosuke and Dorogoromon's sense of self-preservation had saved him. There was no way Ryu Senji's tools would have delivered the command to defend on time. Mm -hmm. uh, just as I thought, Professor. You can, hit, you can hit the legendary Tartarus's partner Digimon with everything you have, but you still can't completely destroy it, Kazuchibon said as Dorogoromon dropped to his knees. Uh, Ryu Senji releases his video projection from Dorogoromon once more, eager to show Leon and Kazuchimon his physical form. So he basically hololizes in front of them again. Mm -hmm. Because he wants them to see his sad performance. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, this is like... This... I'm so hurt, why would you do that yeah, to but, me? Yeah, like, yeah. Um, I love... He, like, I, I really do like that Ryu Senji is chewing the scenery in all of this. Mm. Like, he's leaned into this whole thing, like, so much. And it's only working against him. Yeah. Because he's so, like, oh, they did this and they're the bad guys. And yeah, he's trying to be, like, feeble old every, man. Yeah, and... everyone's hurting me and I'm just trying to protect it. Like, protect the digital world. Except for, uh... Except, <laughs> except for the next bomb drop, where is, uh... Kazuchimon's like, but it wasn't you who brought us back. It was Tartarus. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't, and it was Eiji who came looking for us in the first place. Meanwhile, Ryu Senji sought to use Pulsemon as a prisoner, as leverage. And we learn then that, like, he heard the story when um, Leon was broadly aware of the discussion that occurred once Ryu Senji brought Pulsemon into the source domain. Mm -hmm. So this calls, but this is what we were talking about earlier, where the image we had previously with Pulsemon and Black Agumon beside each other, mm. it looked like they were like unconscious or in stasis or something. Yeah. But Pulsemon has been hearing everything go on around him. Yeah, see, that's the thing. When you're unconscious, you can still hear things. Whether you process them or not is another thing. Yeah. But the fact that it's a Digimon means the processes are probably still running because it's data. Yeah, or because age, it was Leon's consciousness is also in the digipore yeah it might still be able to pick up on everything mm. which does mean if if we're bringing saya back she's also aware now yeah of she's... how tyrannical her father has become yeah and if she is actually in there and not disintegrated into nothing yeah yeah she's uh she's listening yeah so uh, but the, the lack of separation between Leon and his partner was strange, though. It hadn't been all that long since he went to MIA, but it was difficult to say if a small piece of his consciousness remained lodged in Pulsemon Digicore, or if some other error had led to a sort of shared memory situation. And the hacker, Paragon, and that the hacker, Judge, Paragon of Justice would side with a code cracker. He's still trying. Yeah. But you hate them. Yeah. <laughs> is that what you're is that what you mean to tell me? And then Leon says his it's like I feel like it's the thing from The Simpsons. Say the line, Leon. Mm. I cannot abide code crackers. And Ryu Senji's the class going, Yay! <laughs> Quite right. Well, the side effects of the medicine must have confused you. Yeah, you've only just recovered from being DMIA after all. There must have been an error in my vital signs are normal. Oh. Mm. And it's like, what I truly cannot abide is this irrational loss of life in the digital world. What I cannot abide is a creature, human or Digimon, playing God with lives to which they have no claim. True justice lies in my heart. I have the strength of my convictions and the sense of justice instilled in me as a hacker tells me that you, Professor Ryu Senji, are the enemy. It's funny because when I was a Kazuchiman was talking before when we met him and he's all like, you know, big booming godlike. Yeah. And, but, and I feel like with uh, Leon's kind of like his sense of all that. Yeah. Like all the like 
code cracking is wrong and blah, I will fight to, you know, yeah. I think they're because their two personalities are kind of linked right now. That it's Leon speaking with Kazuchimon's oh, like Oh, uh, his presence? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I thought that as well. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, which... It's not just Leon coming out here. It's <laughs> the, yeah. like, the booming god voice. And... Uh, wouldn't it have been fun if this was an anime? Yeah. Do you know what it, do you know what it reminds me of? When, when you put it like that. It's like when the god Apmon would talk. Mm. That's the sense yeah. of it. You know. Um... Well, maybe not, um, maybe not Uranusmon, but the other ones for <laughs> sure. Maybe not Uranusmon, but yeah, definitely the other ones. Um, Poseidamon or, um, mm. uh, Gaiamon for sure. Mm. But, um, so Ryusenji is, you know, he's an, ang he, he's an angry boy now. Dangling more money. <laughs> <laughs> um... You lose everything. Yeah. So be it. Justice demands it. Uh, AG and Leon kind of reconcile. I see you've managed to digivolve Lugamon to their mega form. Also, we could come to the find you in the digital world. And AG apologizes that like it's his because it's his fault. Leon goes DMIA mm. in the first place. And uh, Leon says, "I'm glad. Um, now that I see you here with Fenrir Lugamon." I know that I can put my trust in you more than the professor. Mm. Because Professor Ryusenji had commandeered Dorugamon, uh, Dorugoromon by force. He hadn't put in the work of forming a natural bond and growing alongside a partner Digimon. Mm -hmm. And then we get that epic fucking artwork. Yeah. It's so good. Um, it's funny because where my model is on our screen right now, it looks like Lotmon is in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Lotmon's filling in for AG. Um, Back there. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can show chat later what I meant. Yeah, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll show you guys on the live show. Um, so Kazuchimon and Fenrir Lugamon open up a open up a secret Discord chat <laughs> where they can uh, talk to each What's other. What's it called again? Uh, Grim. Grim. Where they can freely exchange code with one another without any visible logs. They're whispering what else? Yeah, they're, yeah, the they're, they're chatting. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, chatting, they're chatting in whisper mode. Uh, Doro Goromon rises to his feet, and then Ryu Senji starts trying to, um, like, they, they kind of, they, they press on how much of a coward Ryu Senji is mm. because he's fighting from the safety of the DDL labs. He's not risking his life by coming into the digital world himself like they did. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, and... is he back in the mind linking machine doing all this? Because he's not, like, he's not mind linked, but surely he has to be. I'd say he's just at a computer console with a, with a, with yeah. a set of goggles on his head or something. Mm. Um, That's what I'm wondering, because he'd, ha he'd have to be some kind of VR looking thing for him to see what's going on, surely. Yeah. And, like, he kind of acknowledges this he says well you mm. see even with the sons of son of the sons of chaos's firepower it was less than a 50 percent chance they would reach the gateway and successfully crack it let alone get past the royal knight now i loathe boredom but i'm not the type to risk my life for a cheap thrill <laughs> um you know but um you know he gives you know then he's upset that he's getting lectured by his own students um, and then it really comes down to, do you wish to keep going down this road, Professor? Um, and he, it looks like he's about to give up. Where he said, mm. he says, I can see the writing on the wall. There will be little point. And Leon agrees. But then Ryu Senji's like, oh no, that was meant for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have told you again and again <clears throat> that I have crushed upstarts like you before. You play by my rules. And another tree diagram splits the heavens above the source domain. Mm. And Ryusenji starts downloading all the data he decrypted from the source domain. Um, you know, the, the data sector is... The Doromon one. The Doromon one, yeah. Yeah, because the... When did he complete that? 
I thought the he vaccines. paused it. He paused Ryudamons. Uh, I keep forgetting that. Yeah, you do. Sorry. <laughs> you keep forgetting. Ryu I know Ryudamon is is a nothing burger now, but he does uh, yeah. still exist. The, uh, my brain keeps thinking, you know, like he's all defenseless and blah, and that, that just means he's done. Hmm. <laughs> so he's the done one, and the other ones were paused. But no, no, he hadn't even started downloading the virus um, mm. sector from Lugamon yet. Yeah. So the vaccine from Ryudamon is on pause, mm. but he completely decrypted the data sector of the source domain, and now aimed um, as he had hone, uh, now aiming to use the power and influence he has in the real world and use it in tandem with uh blah blah, blah. he's going to he's going to be king of the digital world yeah that's someone basically what he's saying someone call shout <laughs> one i'm a busy man i have no time to spare for anything beyond my research i will make the awesome power of the source domain mine here and now so uh, Kosuke starts convulsing and keels over. Mm -hmm. um, Dorogoromon's body began to stretch and swell, its metal straining and screeching as it tried to contain, contain the burgeoning mass beneath. It looked as if something within Dorogoromon was trying to claw its way out. So they're both just having... Oh, uh, like... Like seizures. Seizures, essentially. Yeah. Their cells divided at such an absurd pace that the armor could no longer hold. Larger pieces began to crack while others were flung from its body entirely. Copious amounts of data streamed into Dorogoromon from the massive tree on the ceiling of the source domain. Dorogoromon is d downloading data directly from the source Digimon. Not even a mega level could handle that much. The professor's gonna kill them if he keeps this up. This was now a matter of life and death all the devolutions in the digital world were, to one extent or another. Everything was a fight for survival in the digital world. So, it's like, this is bad, Fenrir Lugamon. Um, so they try to, you know, to go on the attack. Yeah. They charge toward their horrific new foe, ready to strike. And here's where it finally happens. Mm -hmm. Life was fragile. Even for Digimon, death was all too common in the, digital, in the digital world. For those who did not wish to die, however, there was another option. They could feed on the death of other Digimon in a bid to extend their own lives, and in doing so, open up another phase of Digivolution. Death X Evolution. And that's where it ends. That's where it ends, yeah. So, <laughs> Death X has nothing to do with Kosuke losing his mind over Saya. No. It's Ryu Senji overloading. Losing his mind over Leon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then overloading Dorugoromon with, mm. with the data in order to basically apply cheat codes and buff up his stats. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's, that's, that's effectively what it comes down to. I'm kind of glad that they don't have to take down Kosuke. Like, mm. in that sense. Like, he's still going to get hurt. But... Yeah, it's I'm, I'm glad that he's not the one who's going up against them. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah, that's good. Mm. At least. But it's... I just love this chapter because... Ryusenji, you know, he's... Still the villain, but he's still trying to play the the, oh, he's the silly scientist when Leon comes along. He's yeah. Like, oh, I was trying to defend the, the digital world, and they came up against me. And and Leon's just like, no, I heard what you did. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> the dog upstairs is currently going. <laughs> um. Yeah. Like so. Like yeah. No, I do. I like that he tried to appeal to Leon's, like overbearing sense of justice like we've talked at length about just how mm. annoying Leon is as a character because he has like three phrases I'm so glad that they didn't refer to his body oh, describe his body oh like how beautiful he was and how chiseled and his his chiseled chest started 
Taking deep breaths, oh, yeah. you know, like started started heaving, and he started breasting. He started breasting boobly at, <laughs> at the screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. They did they, kind they... of go overboard with that at the beginning. Didn't He's they? so handsome. Yeah, and when he was waking up in in the lab, mm. yeah, they really could have done that. You know, yeah. yeah, as you say, like his chiseled chest started heaving as breath yeah. returned to his body. Shit, like, yeah. yeah, stuff like that. They oh, they really could have gone overboard. Um, so it looks like the final battle is tomorrow, question mark? Yeah. I don't know how this goes to 4.15 unless, like, I, I really hope they don't drag it out that 4.12 ends on the Jogress. Mm. And then 4.13 is the final, final battle. And then, what, 14 and 15, then it'll be an epilogue? If uh, it's going to yeah, 15, they still have I really to. Hope it's not I really hope it's not going to 15. But yeah, but they st once all this is done and Rysenji is defeated, essentially, yeah. they still have to get out of here. Yeah, they still have to wrap all this up. They still, like, whatever this source Digimon is, if that's going to come into it, or if it's just going to be the, the, the Pyromon, like oh. we were talking about yesterday. Oh, um, we got a comment on that. Oh. Um,. I had mixed up which uh, Digimon it is. It wasn't Jaeger Loemon. Mm. It was Ancient Sphinxmon. Ah. No, they are part of the same evolution tree. Mm. And we'll get there. They will. Yeah. They show up later. We'll, yeah. we'll get there. But well, the main point of it was the one who just kind of is the big danger in the background that comes up to the screen and then goes back away. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I'm wondering if the source Digimon is going to be an actual Digimon or just mm. an, or like a presence that's kind of there and then it goes it, it, it doesn't do anything yeah it's probably i hmm. like if we get another... i kind of hope it's just it just doesn't appear at all because if it does that thing from ghost game where you have that where you have it's coming through the portal yeah but then because the because ancient sphinx mon then just gets kicked mm. through the portal itself it goes away yeah i feel like not that I think the fandom cares at this point, but it, it would feel a bit too sequel baby. Mm. I don't know if I want that for this because we know it's not going to happen. Yeah. Or if it does, it won't be for like, it could, it might not be for another three to five years. Mm. They might try this idea again. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see this getting any kind of sequel. Um. Yeah. See, because... The, the yeah the data is being directed directly downloaded from the source Digimon yeah as opposed uh, as opposed to the domain yeah so like is it just gonna be a a overarching presence and not actually be a thing or is it gonna go why are you trying to steal my power and come down and do something <laughs> but I don't see that being a thing because then they have to defeat the source Digimon yeah. I don't think we're quite there yet. <laughs> no, and but if this story was a bit longer, we could be. Um, if we're like we posited at the start of this, um, that it was going to be, uh, because they had mentioned the system administrator a couple of times. Yeah, like we thought at the start of this, it was going to be, you know, oh, we'll have to go to the digital world eventually mm. to save Leon, and we'll probably end up in the final fight against Yggdrasil. Mm. And that hasn't happened, but I feel like if they go down the idea of fighting the Source Digimon, they might as well have. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm I okay with them not doing it. Yeah. But, um... I'm so okay with them not bringing Omega Man back at all. Mm, yeah, <laughs> hold your breath on that one. He'll mm. make one more appearance, I can feel it. Um, He'll find them in the domain. And see and hear from the the source Digimon what's gone on and how they protected the digital world and he'll be all apologetic and help them get out. Yeah, he'll open the door for them to get mm. out or something. Yeah, because I feel like Doruvon isn't making it out of this story in One Piece. Mm, unless Kosuke goes DMIA and him and Doramon become one and then Saya and Black Agamon are one and they just live as Digimon together. Yeah. Um possible. I guess we'll I guess we'll see. Yeah. But um Ooh. yeah, we gotta we gotta we gotta wrap this up. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll have to do the comments tomorrow. Well, no, we, there's only one comment. Oh, is there? Okay. Yeah, it's it's just the one comment from Ali. Okay. Saying, um, so I, I guess every part is being colored like in relation to the images. Yeah. Because I doubt Fenrir's appearance will be just purple colored. Mm. Yep. Um, was wondering how Rhea Senji will handle something that he uh, that he can touch, but he can't touch. I guess. Yeah. Just use mind control, apparently. Yeah. Um, I guess we need to spend more time on Ag knowing to trust himself a bit better. Uh, makes four nines moment a bit redundant. A little bit. Mm. With Kosuke shocked, Yulin in hiding. It is just Ag Lugamon and Rhea Senji just talking to each other then. A bit smarter than Satsuki. Yeah. yeah, I would have liked for them to be here for this. Mm. Like, I really would have preferred that. Imagine Satsuki shouting at Ryosenji. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It'd be so fun. Um, the part of Soul Lugermon trying to engulf Doru Goromon with fire. Um, I thought that's where the Tyrano. That's where the Tyrannomon. I thought, would where be. are the Tyrannomon? Oh, you th I thought, yeah. where are the Tyrannomon? But then they appear and they're just screwing over Ryu Senji. Yeah. Then make a then that makes a Fenrir happen. If I'm honest, I feel like it's funny that AG is being mistaken. Uh, sorry, I feel I find it funny that AG being a mind linker, uh, less than, for less than a month while being less active, is now achieving forms that most individuals never reached, and that he just makes his partner reach three new levels in a single day. Yeah. And that the final stage level seven mm. uh there's no one that n that no one has ever achieved i just can't wait for the cringe line of did he become a triple s mind linker <laughs> uh thankfully no um they say something similar but mm. no it, it's not that bad then apparently the translation is so advanced in four nine and ten that text has been removed and they added extra lines to the translations at least that's what I get um, from highly uh, knowledgeable Digimon users. Yeah. Digimon Twitter users. <laughs> Digimon users. Well. <laughs> Digimon Twitter users. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to look in for that for tomorrow. Yeah, I'll look into that. Well, we could talk about it on the live show tonight. And yeah. Follow up, do, do a bit of follow-up. We'll do a bit of cyber sleuthing <laughs> if work is quiet. But yeah, like that's it. That is our only comment for, um, for 4-10. Mm-hmm. Just going to do a quick refresh to make sure. Yeah, nothing held for review. No mm, mentions. Yeah. And just make sure. Oh. The next part is the last. Ali says it will end with 412. Thank God. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, God. Tomorrow's the finale. <laughs> oh, wow. So we're going to have to fit the final battle and the epilogue all into the one chapter. Oh. I have, an, I have an, no idea if you missed this comment. comment. But they okay. show Liberator's release date tomorrow because they do those videos where they do card battles and show off products. Might reveal the release date of Liberator. Okay. Oh, we might get, yeah, the little Bandai Mania thing. Mm. Um, or the Digi card, Digimon card. I, I know the videos uh, Ali's talking about. So Yeah. But no, I guess so. Tomorrow we might have a bit more information to go off of. You have reacted to Yuki's comment there. We didn't read that. Oh, um, everything's... Oh. No, we did. No. You read it yourself. Oh. We okay, haven't no. read it out. That was where I got the... Ancient, yeah. That was where uh, the correction for Ancient Sphinx Mon. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, aw, so no AJ, AJ Digimon, Digimon 2024. I'm <laughs> looking forward to hearing it. Aw. Oh. Aw. Uh, we'll see. I, AJ, AJ can Digimon for you some other time. Ah. Uh, <laughs> don't put it... Don't say it like that. <laughs> oh, like Yuki didn't mean it like that. Aw. <laughs> uh, well, pay me first. Um... Liberator getting cards soon makes sense, considering that it's based on the card game. Ooh, Mimo Vision. Fancy. Is that AJ's hand holding it? No. Mm -hmm. I think it was Al talking about the Imperial Jermon poster. Like where, I think it was Ali talking about the Imperial Jermon poster where you can see the back picture of the new Mon. Oh, yeah, quite possibly. There was a monster we just we weren't sure of. Okay. Um, that was Ancient Sphinx Mon in Ghost Game, by the way. Uh, look forward to tomorrow. Well, we hope you found this enjoyable, Yuki. <laughs> um, and tomorrow is the last one. Yeah. So that's... That's insane. Mm. 
tomorrow being the last one. Yeah, that's uh Oh boy. Looking forward to that then. Yeah, so it, it better it, it's going to have a rushed ending. It is. It is. It Even really... when these chapters are long, they're not long. No. Oh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. So, everyone, thank you so much for joining us. We will see you later on tonight. Mm -hmm. for Digimon Frontier 1 and 2. Um, I'm excited. Yeah, so am I. I'm looking forward to getting back to the live shows, looking forward to getting back into watching the anime and talking about that. And yeah, I think we're going to have a good time with it. Yeah. I hope so. I really hope so. My memories of Frontier are bleak. <laughs> so I hope we have a good time with it. But um, yeah, we will you then i have i gotta clock in to work in like nine minutes so i'm going back to bed <laughs> rude <laughs> rude i got i get i have to go and slave away for the next nine hours and meg just gets to curl back up in bed that's that's not fair <laughs> that's not fair everybody scold meg in the comments <laughs> i'll just sleep through the scolding it's okay <laughs> See you tonight, everybody. Yeah, see you then, guys. Take care of yourselves. I'm just so done. I'm Aww. so done. Why me? <laughs> what did I do to deserve this, Yggdrasil? What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> <sighs> Goodbye, everyone. Good night. Good night.